Hey, I am Trainer Day, and I am so glad you're here in the virtual workout studio. What you will need this morning is you'll need a set of dumbbells. You'll need behind my right shoulder whoop, whoop, is a water bottle, and you need a water bottle, a mat, a positive attitude. Hey, three things to remember today. Number one, every day is a great day. Two, take responsibility for your actions. So get up, get moving every day, and embrace the crap, meaning, look, life isn't going to be perfect but you get to choose what you do with it. So again, a set of dumbbells, a water bottle, a mat, maybe a sweat towel, and let's get this thing going. If you are joining me live, hit hashtag live, coming back, hashtag replay, let's go. Good morning on my Zoom folks, so let's do it. All right, all right, all right, I didn't mean to turn my back. Let's go nice, easy, tacky sacks this morning. Gonna kinda shake it out a little bit. We're gonna shake it out a little bit and get moving. What's going to happen as we get going this morning, as we get going, we're going to take about 10 to 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. Let's go toy soldier, opposite hand, opposite toe or shin, 10 to 12 minutes to get your body warmed up, especially if you literally rolled out of bed or got up out of your office and you came right into your garage or wherever you're working out. We want to raise your core temperature, warm you up because we've got agility drills, We've got strength drills. We've got 60 minutes of a mating. Go ahead and give me four soft count. That means every time you kick it up, one, two, three, and last one, four. Now you've got hip openers. Abs in, shoulders back. We're going to open and close the gate. Knee up. You can use the wall for balance. Out and in and back down again. I may talk quickly, but the idea is that right now you're just warming that body up. So again, you're opening and closing the gate. Up. Now, we're going to get you on the mat a little bit today. I'll give you some options if you can't get on the mat. I was talking to somebody recently who was physically unable to do a push-up. So if I have something with a push-up, you can always get to a wall and do a wall push-up. Go ahead once again and give me a four soft count. Four soft I'm so excited that you're here. Four soft count. Nice, easy body weight squats. Feet about shoulder width apart. Push your feet to the ground at the bottom of that squat. I want you to hold it for a moment. Push your feet through the floor and squeeze your glutes and squeeze your glutes. So we're going to do what we call time under tension for some of our lifts today, where it's a three, two, one count. So it'll always explode and then three, two, one. But I'll get to that nice, easy body weight squats. Go ahead and give me two more, two more. Then you're going to give me a nice staggered stance. You're going to lift those hands up, lean back. If you can, you'll try to put that back foot heel on the ground. If not, that's okay. And you're just going to hold it, open up that entire rib cage and then take a deep breath in, deep breath out, bring those hands down and let's switch. So for me, it's right in front of left. Again, throw those hands up nice and controlled, lean back, open everything up, open everything up. Good and control. Take a nice big breath into your nose. Out through your mouth. We're going to do it one more time on each side. So again, you're going to switch that staggered stance all the way up. Good. Remember, if you're out there in Facebookville, be sure to invite somebody to join you. Big breath in, big breath out. Start a watch party. Do something to help. One more time. The world move and shine a light on a dark time. Uh, and big breath in, big breath out. Good, you're going to walk to the end of your mat. We're going to do what we call inchworm to cobra. So you're going to walk your hands all the way out. You're going to put your chest on the ground, and then you're going to push your body up, and you can hold it where it feels really good. Give yourself a 1-1,000, one, 2-1,000, one, then you're going to walk your hands all the way back up. Again, we're in that pipe position. If you want to hold it here, feel that stretch your hamstrings, which I really like to do. That's great. Stand all the way back up and tighten your glutes. Good morning, Lisa. Again, you're going to walk it on down. Inchworm to cobra. I'm going to do it with you again. Inchworm to cobra. Good. You're starting to get just a little warmer. Starting to get that blood circulating a little bit. What I want you to do, I want you to give me two more. Two more inchworm to cobra. At your own pace, walk it on down, push those hands up, open up that chest. After your second one, after your second one, I'm gonna click on my 
Zoom, where'd all my people go? Here we go. After your second one, you're going to roll over on your back. We've got hip bridges next. So on your hip bridges, I want your heels by your rear end pressed into the ground. Your palms are into the ground. You're going to lift your hips up off the ground, squeeze your glutes, and I'm bringing your abs. You're going to hold it for one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, and all the way back down. Very slow and controlled. Hips up, glutes are tight, abs are in, hips are high. Nice. Let's go ahead and get three more of these, three more. Hips up, squeeze your glutes. Good morning, Zoomers. I see more people jumping on. Please go ahead and mute yourself. I'll get up in a moment and hit it, but if you can, you'll mute yourself. Again, three total. Good. You're then going to roll over on your, on your chest. What we want now is actually a high plank runner stretch. So you're up high. Take that foot outside your hand. Your knee can be a little elevated off the ground or all the way on the ground. Lean into it. And kind of if you want to, there you go. And good, Cheryl. And turn toward that knee. You're going to hold that one, I love CG, two, I love CG, three, I love CG. Walk it back, opposite hand. I don't want to really turn away from the camera, but you're going to turn toward the knee that's up. Turn toward the knee that's up. And just nice and easy. One, I love CG, two, I love CG, three, I love CG. Good. What I need you to do, what I want you to do, what I want to challenge you to do, is go ahead and give me two soft counts. You'll do one more to the left, one more to the right, one more to the left, one more to the right. Then you can do a little Superman work. So you've done one more to the right, one more to the left. All the way on the ground, you're going to extend your hands, extend your legs. You're going to lift your heels, lift your hands, squeeze your glutes. Hold it again. I love CG. I love CG. And then back down. Do not hold your breath. I see a lot of people holding their breath during this. Then you'll hop back, you'll up, back up, heels high, squeezing your booty. Good. Squeeze that booty. Good. Let's do two more, two more, two more. Squeeze that booty. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Whatever works for you on the count. We're going to do chest to ground push ups next. One more. One, two, three. Good. Success option on your chest to ground push-ups. Again, nice and slow. All the way down. Flash those hands. Push back up. Full push-up. All the way down. Abs tight. Nice flat back. Nice angle position. Good. I need you to give me four of those. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll give me four at your own count. Four at your own count. I got two more. You're going to hold it up. We've got shoulder taps. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. You can lower your hips, lower your knees, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Good. Squeeze. Bring those abs in. I call it drawing in your abs. If you squeeze your glutes, you're less likely to rock and rotate your hips. Rock and rotate your hips. You're going to give me eight sauce count. That means every time you touch your shoulder, you're going to give me eight. You're going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to carefully stand up. Don't get lightheaded or dizzy. Then you've got jumping jacks. Or step outs. Good. I'm waiting for every day. You go. Good. At least you can hit your video if you want. Good. Stay with me. So now I'm going to start my timer. We're going to do some more dynamic warm up. So we're going to raise your heart rate. We're going to get you to sweat a little bit. A little humid where I am. So I'm already sweating, which is good. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Give me 20 seconds. 20 seconds, and we're going to go to butt kicks. Butt kicks. Don't forget to bust out those hearts and likes and comments because I can see all my Facebook people. I've got you projected on a big screen TV. All my Zoom people, I've got you on my large iPad. In four, we're going to butt kicks. In three, in two, we're right here. Or right here. If you want, you put your hands right on your booty. Try to kick, kick, kick. But throw those shoulders back. Abs in. Good. It's 30 seconds. The next several exercises are going to be 30 seconds at a time. Again, the idea is to raise your heart rate, get you to breathe a little heavier, get you to perspire, raising that core temperature. We're going to go to standing mountain climbers in four, in three, in two, and one. It's opposite hand, opposite knee, or keep one foot down. There you go. Good. I see some more people jumping 
on Zoom. Be, be, come in, grab your weights, grab your water bottle, go ahead and mute, go ahead and mute. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and reach, and reach. Opposite hand, opposite knee, we've got 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and you're gonna get to the end of your mat. We're gonna do a little mat shuffle. In four, in three, in two, in one. Get to the end of your mat, and just kind of step it out. Step it out, get to the end, step it out. If you wanna go a little quicker, you can step it out. A little hop at the end, 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 good. Come on, give me 15 seconds, 15 seconds. We are going to do quick feet next. Again, my goal right here is to raise that heart rate in three, in two, in one, right here. If you want to march it a little slower, that's fine, but I want it to be as quick as you can, not with your hands right here. Move, opposite hand, opposite leg. There you go. I see everybody looking very strong, looking very strong. Nice. Keep marching. Keep marching. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Then we're just going to slow you down with big arm circles. In five, in four, in three, and two. Good. I want eight forward. Giant. Don't hit the ceiling fan. Arm circles. Once you've got eight forward, you're going to reverse. When you've got eight backwards, you're going to crisscross. Good. So I want two sets of those. Two forward rolls, two, two backwards rolls, two crisscross. Two crisscross. When I can see my zoomers doing their quick feet, I'll know it's time to move on. So you've got quick feet, quick feet. Then we're going to do some squat touches. There we go. Good. There you go. I see some quick feet. Okay. So our next drill with that quick feet is you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're going to touch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and touch on your own count. Again, it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can step and touch. There you go. Good. I see him doing it. There you go. Give me eight. So make sure you switch left hand. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right hand. Good. Put that on repeat. Put that on repeat. Put that on repeat. Put that on repeat. Good. We're going to stay here another 20 seconds. Everything. This one's a little longer. But I gotta get you warmed up. I've got to get you warmed up. Then we're gonna do some squat to calf raises next. 15 seconds. You should be breathing heavier. You should hopefully be perspiring, even if you're inside in the air conditioning. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, give me one more right, one more left, which is actually the wrong hands. One more right, one more left. Then you're going to squat and come up on your toes. Squat, come up on your toes. Again, straight down like an elevator. Chest forward, butt down, chest out. Come up on your toes. There we go. Oh, we're starting to feel it now. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, morning, night, noon, midnight, when you're watching, but you're getting warmed up. You're getting warmed up. You're going to go ahead and give me four more, four more. Then you're going to go to what we call a squat jack. Four more. A squat jack is a combination of a squat and a jump jack. Your squat jack. Squat jack. Hands up. But down, hands down. So touch the birdies, pet the, pet the puppies. Success option right here, right here. There you go. Oh, you guys are looking super sharp this morning. Super sharp this morning. Go ahead and give me four more. Go ahead and give me four more. Then you're just going to go back to your traditional old school jump a jack because it works. Because it works. Success option here. Success option here. Because it works. Because it works. Come on, we've got about three minutes of warm up. Three minutes of warm up. We'll put you through some agil quick agility so you know what's coming throughout the workout. We're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. You're going to go ahead and give me eight more jumping jacks. Eight more jumping jacks. And you're going to get at the end of your mat. You're going to get to the end of your mat. You're going to end your mat. What you're going to do is you're going to try to do a little hop. Two feet in, two feet the width of your mat. Two feet in, and your mat. Then we're going backwards. Two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out. Two feet in, two feet out, two feet in. If you cannot jump, step forward, feet together, quarter squat. Step wide, quarter squat. Step in, quarter squat. Step wide, quarter squat. There you go, up and down. Now you, you can go backwards if you, if you want. 
You can certainly go backwards. There you go. Maybe some of you haven't been jumping in a long time unless you were jumping over a puddle. I need you to give me four soft counts. You're gonna come up the mat once. Back down the mat, that's twice. Then three, then four. When you're done, I want you to see you march in place. That way I know it's time to move on. Awesome, as soon as you're done, you're just going to shuffle and touch, shuffle and touch, shuffle and touch. If you can't, I don't, I don't want you leaning like this. I want you squatting and touching the ground. You can walk, little side shuffle and touch. Good. <coughs> Pardon me. Shuffle and touch. Be sure to stay hydrated. You don't have to ask permission to drink water. Go ahead again and give me four soft count. Four soft count. Four soft count. Then go back to butt kicks. Four soft count. I want to teach you something else. I want to teach you something else. Good. Looking very strong. Butt kicks. All right. What's going to happen next is you're going to go to quick feet again. I'm going to say right. You're going to turn your hips 45 degrees, then turn your chest back. So be here, right, left. Don't do it yet. Now, success option, if you're marching in place, and I say left, you're just going to step back left, come back, square your shoulders up. Here, right. All right, so here we go. Virtual high fives. You're going to get quick feet going in three, in two, in one. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, right. There you go, Cheryl. Good. Quick feet, quick feet, left. Good, success option right here, right, come back, there you go, quick feet, left, we're going to do two more, two more, this time I'm going to make it easy, I'm going to tell you it's going to be right, I'm going to tell you it's going to be left, here we go, right, come back, come back, come back, left, good, now we've got jumping jacks, all right, while you do your jumping jacks, I want you to get mentally prepared, your three things to remember today, there's one every day is a great day, take responsibility for all your actions, and three, embrace the crap. Because if you've ever shoveled manure, it stinks. But the roses will bloom in the spring. Stay with me. Stay with me. You've got 27 seconds. We're going to do one round of agility drills. And the agility drills will be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. But you keep coming because I had to get you warm. You've got about 15 seconds before you grab a glass of water, water bottle, whatever you're drinking. In eight. In seven. In six, in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Give me some virtual high fives. Good. Grab a little sip of water. Grab a little sip of water. Callie, I'm so glad you got up this morning. Again, on my Zoom play people, if you want to talk, just unmute yourself. I've got the volume up. Okay. So we've got about 40 seconds. Our first drill this morning is going to be that. Little hop. So two feet together, two feet as wide as your mat or your towel, two feet, two feet. Now, at the last top of your mat, I want you to give me a full squat. We need to practice that. Two in, two out, two in, two out, squat. Two in, two out, two in, two out, squat. That's going to be for 30 seconds. Success option again is feet in, quarter squat. Hey, you've got 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds. I've got 10 seconds. This is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Three sets. In four, in three, in two, and begin. Here we go. Two in, two out, two in, two out. Squat. Back ribs. Boom, 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 boom. So every fourth one, you're giving me a full squat. Two in, two out, two in, two out. Squat. There you go. There you go. 15 seconds. Two in, two out, two in. Two out, squat, two in, two out, two in, two out, squat. You've got five, you've got four, you've got three, you've got two. Finish your last one. Nice. Catch your breath. Keep walking around. Take a drink of water. Relax your shoulders. Get right in. You have two more sets of those before we lift the weights. You've got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. I will count it down, and we will go. Again. All right, you got eight seconds. Two in, two out, two in, out, and squat. Three, two, one, two in, two out, two in, squat. If you can go backwards, 
Nose over toes, two in, two out, two in, two out, squat, two in, two out, two in, two out, squat, two in, two out, two in, boom. Nice, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Good, Callie. Good, Cheryl. And finish that one up the mat and then walk back the other side. 30 seconds is done. Goes fast, but it should raise your heart rate. Work on some agility. There we go. Again, some interaction on Facebook. Feel free to say who you are, where you are, where you're from on the break. Hearts and likes and comments. What that does, it gets more eyeballs on the workout so more people can stay healthy and keep it. We have five. We have one last set. We have four, three, two. Here we go. Two in, two out. Two in, two out, squat. Two in, two out, two in, out, squat. Two in, two out, two in, out, squat. Up and down your mat or your towel. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. I'm going to count it down. 10. Don't slow down. 9, 8. Do the goodest that you can. My job is to butcher the human language. 4, 3, 2. High fives. Give me those. Zoom so I can see you. Give me those high fives. Nice. Grab a little water. Grab a little water. Hey, yes, ma'am? What do we do for likes on Zoom? What do you, <laughs> we don't have that. What you do is un unmute and go, Dane, you rock. So say it. Dane, you rock. Thank you. <laughs> strong. All day long. All day long. Callie, so that's what we say. If I ever bark out CG Strong, the answer is all day long. If I just say CG, what's the answer, Cheryl? Stop. CG. What? What? All right, here we go. You've got three exercises this morning. Callie, this is exactly what we talked about last night. You're going to do a wall push-up, but they are going to be time under tension. So you're going to be in that high plank if you can. Feet can be about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider, abs in. It's going to be three, two, one. When you get 90 degrees, you can explode up. Success option on your knees, three, two, one, explode up. If you're not able to put that pressure, you can find a wall in your house, hands about shoulder height, abs in again, nice plank, three, two, one, explode up, three, two, one, explode up. You're then going to, I, there's no whiteboard, I'm going to bark out the exercises. If you get confused, Zoom, just unmute or just, I'll look at you to make sure. So you've got time under tension push-ups. You then have time under tension squats. If you can, you're going to launch your weights above your shoulders. Feet are about shoulder width apart. And then it's going to be three, two, one. I'm all the way down. My feet are flat. And I explode up and tighten my glutes. You can success option with one weight. Three, two, one. And explode up. Not able to do that full squat. No weights. Three, two, one. Explode. If you can't get all the way down, get as far as you can slowly. So if this is where you can go, then it's, Three, two, one, boom, and explode up. So you've got push-ups, you've got squats, and then you have curls. I like a nice staggered stance so you don't lean your back, lean back. You're going to explode up. Then on the negative, three, two, one, full extension. What I saw yesterday on Zoom was we would explode, we go three, two, drop. Don't let gravity do the work. Explode. Full range of motion. Three, two, one. Awesome. Everything is time under tension. What you're going to do, though, is you're going to do a set of eight. Come back to the top of your push-up squats and curls. You're going to do a set of eight, a set of six, a set of four, and a set of two. You'll let me know, Zoom, when you're done. I'll decide if we're done or if we're going to move back up going two, four, six, eight. Callie, Cheryl, high fives. If you got it, awesome, here we go, here we go. Normally I would yell, CG, really loud, but now because it's, you know, somebody might still be asleep or freak them out in the living room, I'm gonna say CG and I'm gonna hear you whisper, what, what. All right, so everybody, either on the wall or down, you've got your push-ups, you've got your push-ups. Three, two, one, CG, what, what. All right, so again, three, two, one, explode. Three, two, one, explode. Success option. Three, two, one, explode. You're going to give me eight of those. 
Wall push-ups. Same thing. Three, two, one. Explode. Still working. Your chest, your back, your shoulders. Bring your belly button in, engaging your core. Good. Then we've got the squat. So again, if you think you're going too fast, the answer is you are. So it's three, two, one. Explode. Tighten those glutes. Three, two, one. Tighten those glutes. Good. Grab your weights if you can. No shame in your game if you don't have the weights. The idea is, another one of the Danish rules, is it doesn't matter what you do, what matters is you do it. Another one is consistency is the key to success. So building a habit. Any one of us can do it one time. There you go. On your squats, when you explode up, Tighten your glutes, your hips are going to come forward. Your hips are going to come forward. So for those that are just coming in, make sure yeah, you're warmed up. Make sure your core temperature has been raised so you should perspire a little bit, but not be panting and grabbing your shorts. We'll go back, you'll learn some agility. But the three exercises first, I'm going to type them. You're going to, I'm going to get out of the picture, Zoom. I'm going to type them right here. Push-ups, squats, curls, time, oops, time under tension, I spelled tension wrong, but okay. So then it's a set of eight, six, Four, two. So again, if you're just joining, you want to look at the comments on Facebook. You're doing push-ups, time under tension, three, two, one, explode, or three, two, one, explode. Then you're grabbing your weights. Three, two, one, explode. Both weights, one weight, no weights. Then you've got your curls. Again, you can do two weights or no weights. So it's explode. Three, two, one. Explode. Three, two, one. Good. There you go, Cheryl. I like the wall push-ups. Go Cali on your squats. All right, we're going to get better every single day. The virtual fitness studio is going to come into your living room, your garage, your studio, your outdoor patio, parking lot, wherever it is that you're doing, as we create a new norm, the new norm. We create it, we build it, and we have to do it. Kelly, are you done? Yeah, can you show me the curls again? Yep. So nice staggered stance. So for me, I put my left in front of uh, right. You're gonna explode up, palms up. Then you're going to control three, two, one. Here you go. Explode up. Three, two, one. Even if you don't, Callie, you got it? Okay, good. Thank you. The nice thing for those that haven't joined us on Zoom, it's just like that. So Callie had a question. She walks over to her computer or her laptop or phone or whatever. She unmutes. I can interact and she had a question about the curls so that I can direct exactly to her. At the same time, the whole group is on my screen and will soon be projected on the screen behind me, but you won't see big, and then I can turn up the volume, I can Bluetooth it to a speaker, and then they can talk. Or like I said earlier, we do CG, and you say, what, what? Well, yes, I hadn't heard it in so long. All the people in the afternoon, I had many more people, and they could hear what, what. I thought I was gonna cry, it was awesome. It was awesome. So again, you're working through, and you can see at Facebook, a set of eight, a set of six, a set of four, and a set of two. That format will not change today. What's going to happen next when all my Zoomers finish is that we're going to take about a 60-ish second break, maybe 90-second break, grab some water and talk, and then we're going to do some more agility drills, more agility drills. So that's how it's going to go. It's going to be a set of weights, agility, a set of weights, agility, a set of weights, agility. We might get four agility drills in today depending on time. Cheryl, are you done? All right, so if you are done, what I want you to do, I want you to march in place. 
March in place or run in place because we're going to kind of, there we go. We're not quite done yet. There you go, Cheryl. She's on her squats. Callie's on her squats too. There we go. Tighten those glutes, which means squeeze your bum. Hips are going to come forward. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Well, like I always say, better squeeze your glutes because nobody else is. And if they are, we don't talk about that. So it's all good. Have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit of fun. When we come back next week, we've got interval training. Look, here's the beauty of where we're doing it with a virtual studio. All you need is about a wingspan's worth of space in both directions. That's it. That's it. So for me, I've got my mat here, my mat here, and that's it. Awesome. So we have 60 seconds. 60 seconds to we're done. Round one. Again, everybody, if you can, you sh nobody should be at 80 at this point, but then you're marching in place or running in place for one minute. You've got one minute. Don't pick up the pace if you're still lifting. Don't pick up the pace if you're still lifting. We're going to do a little squat, tap, touch drill next. You've got about 45 seconds. Today, here's one of your challenges. So I did three things to remember, which is every day is a great day. Take responsibility and embrace the crap. But here's a bonus. Make sure you drink water like it's your job. Stay super hydrated. I mean, many of you are going to work out in your garage. Depending on where you are in the world, it's getting warmer. And those garages, sunrooms, patios, porches are going to be nice warm. All right, whatever set you're on, you're going to go ahead and finish. I'm going to officially shut the round down. In 10 seconds, in 9, in 8, in 7, in 6, in 5, in 4, in 3, in 2, and 1. All right, give me those high five, Zoomers. High five. My Facebookers, give me some hearts and likes so I know that you're resting and recovering. Resting and recover. Rest and recover. Rest and recover. Okay, you need to move your, your, move your weights out of the way. Move your weights out of the way. Make sure the cat, the dog, the kids, the, the socks that never got put away are away. We've got just a little bit of time. We have 60 seconds. We're going to start. Once again, the agility. It's three total minutes, but you're only working for 90 seconds, 30 seconds at a time. You're going to do your quick feet. I'm going to say right. You're going to drop and touch the ground if you can with your right hand. You're going to pop right back up. I'm going to say left or right. If I say left, you put your hand left hand down. Quick feet, right. Quick feet, I'll, I'll yell, right or left. Right or left. This should get us nice and lathered up. I need to start cutting more shirts and get some more sleeveless shirts. All right, you got 30 seconds. Last quick sip of water. Last quick sip of water. Good. Zoomers, how are we feeling this morning? Give me a thumbs up if you're, there you go. There we go, good. All right, you got 15 seconds. I'm just going to count it down for the last eight. Quick feet, tap, touch, right or left, tap, touch, get fired up. In five, in four, get ready for those quick feet. Three, two, one, here we go. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, right. Now pop back up. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, left. Woo! Good, come on, we're stay here. We're going to stay here. Left. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're going to breathe heavier. Right. Boom. If now success options right here, you're going to go right, step, boom, touch, come right back, come right back, come right back. You are only at 10 seconds. Left, quick feet, right, quick feet, left, quick feet, right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo, left, and right, and high fives. Woo, that was 30 seconds. That should raise your heart rate a little bit. So again, here you go. Hey, guys, see Cheryl's like this. That's all right. So here's the deal. It's your house. You got a fan? Put it on you. you. Got the AC? Can afford it? Crank it down. Wake up an hour early. Get an extra blanket for your friends and family if they're sleeping. All right, you've got two more sets. Here we go. We've got five. Again, quick feet, tap, touch. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Left. Good. If you can, again, it's here. Make sure you squat, touch. Right. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Right. Quick feet, quick feet. Use that brain. Left. Ooh, I'm just assuming everybody knows they're right from their left. Right. Come on, you're halfway, 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 halfway. Left. I actually got my pinky caught in my pocket on my shorts. That's crazy. And right. And high five. Boom. 
Hey, 28 seconds. One more set. One more set. And we'll grab those weights again. Big breath and exhale. Big breath and exhale. 10 seconds, last set. Quick feet, tap touch. Quick feet, tap touch. Here we go, four, three, two. Start those feet, start those feet, start those feet, start those feet, start those feet. Let's start left. Feet, quick, 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 right. Quick, 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 quick. Fast, 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 even, even right here, even right here. Left, even right here, use those arms. Hip the pocket, hip the pocket, right. Woo, now don't just bend. I want you to squat, left, right, left, right, left, right. Relax, that was awesome, woohoo. All right, grab that water. How are you feeling, FB? All right, what are we gonna do next? You've got three exercises. Only one of the exercises will be time under tension. You're gonna do a deadlift, you're gonna do a chest press, and you will do hip bridges. Deadlift, chest press, and hip bridges. So you're dead, you're deadlift. You take both weights, you can use one weight really. Feet are about shoulder width apart. You're going to hinge. So I bent right here at my waist. Drop down. Now my knees aren't bending again, but I can feel that stretch right through here. I'm going to lift with my glutes. Come all the way back up. Squeeze. Again, it's very slow. You could do three, two, one, one, two, three. Throw those shoulders back. Three, two, one. One weight. Knuckles out, palms forward, hinge. Three, two, one. Good. Now you're gonna chest press. You'll transition to the ground. You'll be on your back. Callie, you said you could do these, I think. You're going to explode. Take the weights right over the middle of your chest. Then it's three, two, one, explode. While you're down here, you'll do weighted hip bridges. You're gonna take one weight or two right across your waist, right at your hips, right around my hip bones. Abs in, glutes tight, you're gonna explode up. One, I love CG, two, I love CG, three, I love CG, then slowly back down. Three, two, one, explode. I love CG, I love CG, I love CG, three, two, one. You wanna make it a little harder? Walk your feet out just a little farther. Explode, oh, now I can really feel it in my glutes and my hamstrings. Three, two, one. One, good. If you don't want to use the weights on those, you don't have to, but it's the challenge is to use your weights. You've got deadlift. I'm going to watch you on the screen. You've got chest press. You have hip bridges. You have a set of eight, a set of six, a set of four, and a set of two. And you've got exactly 11 seconds till it's time to go. Once again, Zoomers, you'll come up to the screen. You'll give me that high five just like that. So right now, give me some high fives. There we go. Good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Grab your weights. Grab your weights. And three, two, one. Begin. Look, on your deadlift, even without weights, you can be right here. Hinge. Rock it back up. Three, two, one. Tighten your glutes. Throw your shoulders through your chest. Three, two. Make sure your weights, the palms are right in front of you. Callie, turn your hands right in front of you. Palms toward your, right by your thighs. Right here. Turn your hands in. Turn your thumbs in. There you go. Again, nice and slow. I didn't say time under tension, but I really do want to do that, I decided. So three, two, one. Remember that hinge is one of the seven primal movements. So we have to be able to do that. We have to be able to do that. You're going to give me eight. You're going to give me eight. Then you're going to lay on the ground. You're going to be your time under tension chest press. I'm going to type the list in the Facebook comments. Remember, you can play your own jams. I don't really worry about the music because for the rights, I don't own the rights to the music, so I don't want to get shut down. But 
Because I got Metallica on, it's not even Metallica Monday. Again, their time under tension. Again, the set count is eight, six, four, and two. Nice. Again, later today, I'll go ahead and upload this to uh, my Dave Boyle Fitness YouTube channel. You can use it anytime you want. Once again, when you're done, Zoomers, you're going to come up to the screen. You're going to be those high fives. I'm watching everybody. One of the things I want to teach people, it's important if you will show up a little bit early, and especially on Zoom, and set your camera up. You can actually, like I do, so I know that I can stand at the back or the front of my mat, and I can completely lay down, and you can see me from head to toe, plus my hands over my head, my hands out wide. And if I can see you on Zoom, then I can truly help you. What happens is a lot of us are running late. I set an alarm. I've got Alexa's all over the house. I've got an Apple Watch, and I've set an alarm, and I get set. When you come on Zoom, now starting next week, there'll be a little, I'll put little snippets of workouts on and maybe go live. I haven't figured that out yet, but it's all going to go on Zoom. There we go. Now we're moving the camera. Thank you, Callie. So get with me. Invite a friend. Find a virtual BFF that can hold you accountable and do it. So again, I want to interact with, it's just awesome when people have questions, comments, concerns, or even unmute everybody, and it's just utter chaos and noise, but we're having conversations, and that's the way we're having them now. We're not sitting at the coffee shop. Are you guys done? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I don't think I can do the chest press. Your, your best bet probably then can you do a up? It's just completely different. Let's go back to wall push ups because that's going to really give us more chest work. And then we need to work on that. So, again, I'll come right back here. It's going to be the closest thing we've got to a chest press. Will that work? Yeah. Okay. I, just, uh, I don't think I can rotate my shoulder that way. Now, that's, that's fine. And here's the deal with, you, with what we're dealing with. We're trying to break up those adhesions and everything like that. It's that same motion. So, that and the push up gives me chest, back, and shoulders. All right? You're welcome. But again, so everybody that I've got in my Zoom group, we have a connection, right, through a phone call. Um, that was so 80s. Then we did, you know, the last 10 years it was text, and now we're Zooming because it's 2020. Um, but she had, and I know what surgeries they've had. I know what other, just, hey, we've beaten up our bodies depending on how old you are. I haven't made all poor choices, so I'm still here on Earth. Right? Um, I learned quickly about five years ago that mountain biking probably wasn't my friend after knocking myself unconscious. And then about a month later, being in Air, uh, New Mexico and having a crash and having a non displaced fracture of my left shoulder. So that part of my life was done. So sometimes on my left side, if you'll watch for me, if I was doing an overhead press, there'll be a drag in my left side, especially if I got heavy weight or I get fatigued. But that's the beauty of it. Look, your virtual fitness studio is going to come right into your living room right to wherever you are, and you get your trainer. That's right. So if you're working with me, Trainer Dane is going to work with you. I, this morning, Callie lives 400 miles from me, and I text her at like 5 away, and I said, let's go, girl. Cheryl lives a quarter of a mile from me, and we, she came into our virtual studio about 15 minutes early. I'm sitting on the, on the mat, having a cup of coffee, getting stuff set up. We're just talking, just like if it was real camp. This isn't fake camp. It was face-to-face -face camp. People come early, they get their mat, they build relationships. So every day that I have camp, and I'll post my camp schedule today, as a matter of fact, because it's, it's not changing. Um, people come early, we have conversation, we build community, and that's the same thing. So I want to make sure I'm there at least 15 minutes early. Sometimes I'll have the camera on while I'm still walking because that's in my home. Um, i got to put the dogs up so they don't bark, right? They don't bark. Again, ladies, on my Zoom, when you're done, give me those little jazz hands. If you're at home and you've already finished your eight deadlifts, your eight chest press, and your eight hip ridges, eight, six, four, two, then work your way back up. You can start with two hip ridges. You can start with two chest press. You can start with two 
deadlifts. You can start with two deadlifts. When my zoomers are done, when my zoomers are done, we have another set of agility drills, another set of agility drills as we're moving on. We are already 45 minutes into 60 minutes of amazing. It gives us about 10 to 12 minutes to keep working. A little stretch, a little stretch. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, and you're on Facebook, shoot me a message through Messenger and I will respond. I'll be, I'll, once I get showered, get a little food, I'll be back um, commenting and posting and creating content all day, uh, learning how to improve the delivery on Zoom. There's lots of things. I've used it before, but I'm learning and I want to make it better. I want to make it better. I want to make sure that you get things better. To lift. Squeeze those glutes so that chest through. Your chest press, you're on the ground. I don't have my weights, but still, you explode. Three, two, one. Hip bridges. You can walk your feet out to be more difficult. Walk them up under you. Explode up. Hold it. Really squeeze your rear end. Bring those abs in. So bring that belly button in. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three. Don't hold your breath. Three to the ground. Three, two, one. There you go. There we go. Awesome. So you've got about you finish the set, you're on. Finish the set, you're on. Good job, ladies. Clear some space. Clear some space. We've got another round of agility. We've got another round of agility coming up. Another round of agility. So I only taught part of this at the beginning, but I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to add something to it. So in the warm-up, we shuffled and we hopped to the end, right? We shuffled, we hopped to the end. Now what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle, then you're going to plant, and you're going to load and explode. You're going to lower your hips. You're going to try to broad jump. Take two steps back. You're going to shuffle. You're going to load and explode. So the only part I didn't teach at the beginning was that broad jump. Two steps back. That way you don't run into the wall. Now, if you need a success option, step. I've got a slight bend in my knees. I'm going to step. I'm going to step. And then I'm going to step. I'm going to give me a quarter squat. So it's your choice. If you can, it's quick. Step, step. Load and explode. Two steps back, step, step, little hop, load and explode. Or step, 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 big step, little squat. Hey, you've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds, once again, for those that have worked with me before, it's three minutes of fun, baby, because this is a virtual studio of fun. Thanks for joining me. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Three things to remember. Every day is a great day. Take responsibility, embrace the crap. In four, in three, in two, here we go. Shuffle, hop, load and explode, little broad jump. Two steps back, shuffle, load and explode. Boom, two steps back, shuffle, load and explode. Success off, step, keep that booty down, step. Big step, little quarter squat, two steps back. But I'll repeat, you've got 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Good, Callie. Good, Cheryl. Five, four, three, two, boom. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, again, a little sip of water. If you would like one, you got to drink, you got to hydrate, climb that pump. You've been either had no water intake for four to eight to 10 hours, however long. You might have been asleep or you took a nap. All right, here we go. We've got four. Same thing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Boom. Explode. Walk back. Boom. Load and explode. Back. Load and explode. Boom. Load and explode. Good. I use those words on purpose. You're loading your hips. You're exploding forward. Hey, 10. That doesn't mean slow down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Woo! There we go. Thank you. I cannot wait to give a real flipping high five because high fives are fat free and calorie free. So we eat them up. Hey, you got 12 seconds. Last one. Last one. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Shuffle, load and explode. Back pedal. Shuffle, load and explode. Back pedal. Shuffle, load and explode. Here we go. You're 10 seconds in. You're 10 seconds in. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome, awesome job this morning. Woo. All right, all right, all right. Sound like Matthew McConaughey there, I think. All right, we've got one last set to go. One last set to go. We have an overhead press and an upright row. Again, we're gonna do eight, six, four, and two. I'm gonna do it facing the camera and then I'll turn sideways. I'd like a staggered stance. Watch the ceiling fans. You've got explode. Then three, two, one. Explode. Three, two, one. Success option. One weight horizontally. Explode. Three, two, one. One, good. So that's one, that's called overhead press, military press. You then have an upright row. So again, nice staggered stance, shoulders back, abs in. You're going to zip and unzip your jacket. Explode, elbows high. Three, two, one, explode. One weight, knuckles forward, hands in the middle. Explode, three, two, one. Have an injury, you can still do the, yes, exactly, Callie. Explode up. Three, two, one. You got to write it on Facebook. You're going to go on Zoom. You've got only two exercises this time as we finish up the workout today. You've got overhead press. Three, two, one. You've got upright row. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. High fives. Grab those weights nice and slow. Remember, if you think you're going too fast, you are. Upright row. Yes, ma'am. It ultimately, it doesn't matter. I, for now, what I would like you to do is do do a set of each. You've got four sets, right? So you can do one with your knuckle, your palms towards your ears, and one out. So say you start eight here, six here, four here, two here. All right. I get that question a lot, actually. It's going to hit those shoulders just a little bit differently each time. Come on, last round, last round, last round, last round. I don't know about you, but 60 minutes of amazing is like boom, boom, boom. Remember, you're never going to get this moment back in time. You can't change the past, but we are shaping the future. We are shaping the future. I challenge you to remember the past, live for today with an eye on the future. Callie and I talked last night, we were talking about just life, right? And I'm like, look, if you can learn to take control of one thing, so your fitness at a certain time on your schedule, and you keep and make that a habit, eventually you'll learn you are now in control of one thing. The challenge is then you get one thing, you're like, hey, I'm in control, let me try something else. And soon you're in control of one, two, three things, and you now are controlling life instead of life controlling you. Yes, ma'am. Can you do a front raise? Could you take your hand? Can you go over here? Just, just the shoulder height, with or without weights. Yeah. If you reduce the range of motion, so instead of going all the way up, can you just go above the crown of your head without pain? You can't do that. Okay, so right here, let's do a front raise. You can do it with or without weight. You're only going to come right to your shoulders. Okay. We're going to get you there, though. So, Callie, you can still slow down. So, you can still explode and go right here. There you go. You got this, Callie. There you go. See? And that's the beauty of it. So, Cheryl can unmute on Zoom, talk to Callie about what's going on. I can have all kinds of fitness levels. Look, 
If you're an elite athlete, we'll give you heavier weights, we'll give you more reps. If you have had some sort of surgery or an injury, or you're older, whatever, whatever older is, um, it's relative, and every day I get a day older, and older seems a little farther away. A little farther. Again, what's gonna happen, they're giving me eight, six, four, and two, two exercises. They've got the overhead press, they're exploding. They're on the concentric movement, eight, or three, two, one, exploding, three, two, one. And the upright row, they're exploding, elbows high, zipping, unzipping that jacket, three, two, one. You live in my world, we're getting ready, we'll get chicken dance going for November for Worst Fest. Good, when they are done, Facebook, Zoom, there you go. Good, eight, six, four, and two. Very simple design. Everything that you're gonna find that I teach and coach is simple, but just not easy. There's no crazy movements. I'm not gonna have you use a desk as a plyo box. Never thought about that, really. But I want to make sure, especially in the virtual gym, the virtual studio, the virtual camp, that you have all the things you need at your house. You can buy some resistance bands, but in the, I don't even know you have them. I, I'll probably bring some out and demonstrate, but if you don't have them, we'll give you an alternative for sure. We'll give you an alternative for sure. So here's where we are now. No matter what set you're on, no matter what set you're on, you have 60 seconds to do as much as you can. Now, don't speed it up. I'm just telling you because I want to get a little stretch in. I want to wish you a good luck. Wish a good luck. Wish you luck for the day. I want to challenge you. Look, if you're not driving to work, and that was 15 minutes one way. That's 30 minutes total. What are you going to do to fill that void versus maybe just sitting on the couch? Have you, all right, what was the last time you read a book? Audiobook, podcast. When we're done today, I'll sit. I'll get another cup of coffee. I'm going to listen to Quote of the Day by Sean Croxton. That'll be my, that's my podcast recommendation of the day. Quote of the Day, three to 12 minutes every day, Monday through Friday. It's got great stuff. Then he has he takes a financial seminar and he's got a rich lit society and a whole bunch of stuff. But I've turned a bunch of people onto that podcast. It's brilliant. He just finds people saying amazing things and motivational things. All right, whatever set you're on, you're gonna finish. If you're doing your upright rows, that's it. You're doing your overhead press, that's it. You're all done. Callie, we all right? Oh, she's got a little kitty. Job, Cheryl. All right, both of you go ahead and unmute yourself. That way if I say something you want to talk, with just a few of you won't be bad. You're going to take your right arm across. Give yourself a hug. All right, today, if you're watching this on a Thursday, I've got camp at 4.30 and 5.45. I will not be on Facebook. It will just be on Zoom. So get your link. I'll send it out to all my campers again. It's not going to change. It'll probably change in about a week because we're doing some different things. Take the arm you're holding, if you can, right here. Callie, there you go. Can you take it behind you a little bit? Yeah. Okay. My shoulders are so jacked up, it's much easier for me to do it like that. Nice, big breath in, and exhale. Shake out that arm, opposite arm across. Thanks for joining me. Again, one of my, so I used to say for a long time, I want to ignite life and spark a healthy revolution. I haven't used that in a long time. The only way to do that is that it cannot be the mission of one man or even one company. It's got to be everybody. So again, right here, or Callie, right back here. So if you can start a watch party, if you can point somebody in the direction of one of the CG trainers so we can, they can join us virtually, whether it's in Germany, Shanghai, India. We've had people all over the world connect with us, which is awesome. Shake out both arms. If you need a wall, find a wall. You got a knee hug. You're going to make a little square with your toe. You're going to do two to the right. <laughs> two to the left. When you're done, you're two squares to the right and to the left. You've got a quad pull. If you can't grab your foot, just kind of lift it right here. Throw those shoulders back. Bring those abs in. I can't thank you enough for allowing me to come into your home and help you find some sense of sanity in an insane time. Let go of that leg. Again, you can use the wall. You've got a figure four. Figure four. It drops your rear end. This was one of my favorite um, stretches when I was a spin instructor. Working out with you guys. 
What's that? I've been working out with you all, helping my mental stability. Absolutely. All right, other leg, other leg. Knee hug. So I've had people tell me since we've gotten the virtual studio going, um, it helps keep them sane so that they can uh, be polite to their children. <laughs> Again, you're making that little toe square, that foot square. You're going to go to the right twice, left twice. Again, if you need to use the wall. Good morning, John. <laughs> hey, get out and walk that puppy today. Figure four. All right, I'm going to say goodbye to Facebook. Y'all stay right there. Thanks for waking up, being amazing. It doesn't matter if it's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. You can be amazing every single day.